There are nearly 100 different banks in Old School RuneScape, all of them used for withdrawing your items, depositing your items, but most importantly, the banks are used for standing in. But how do you know which one to stand in? Well, that's what we're looking to answer here today as we travel around Gilinor reviewing its financial institutions for ambiance, real estate, uh, safety, temperature, general vibe. I mean, really any and everything you can think of we will be reviewing and so today when we were reviewing the banks we will be reviewing them in the order they came into the game starting with old school runescape's first ever bank a little place called Verrock West all right here we are at the first bank ever into the game came in January 2001 um, and you can see it's right to the west of Verrock there is another bank over here we will hit that I'm sure at some point um, but yes before this giant glob of bots and bullshit came to the game up here I feel like many people were hanging out in this bank spent a lot of time here so this should be a, a relatively familiar bank to most of you now a couple things might jump out at you right away one there is one two three four five bank stalls it looks like you can use all five very nice there is let's see if we can knock at this door I don't think I'm ever going to be allowed in there only staff okay that seems fair and she seems very busy, by the way. Uh, we come across a potted plant. Now, I've been in this bank many times. I would say that this plant has not grown at all since I have been in and out of here over the years. Um, it stayed the same. The leaves are exactly the same. No new leaves, no old leaves. So I think it is safe to assume that this is a fake plant. I am not a huge fan of fake plants or fake flowers. I think they look a little tacky, a little cheesy um should i say so yeah i you know i'm gonna have to take a few points off there it adds a little bit to the room but i mean to, for it to be the only one and, and i mean what's this table doing here i've never seen a banker over here why would this table even be over here if all the bank staffs behind the i don't really understand this table maybe we can get some examine text a handy place for filling in forms and paperwork okay so maybe that's where you come in and Fill out a few forms, and then you can take your forms to the counter. Okay, I'm going to retract what I was saying before. This is a very nice rug. Can we stand directly on these squares? Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so the squares are, are tile perfect there. It's a nice rug. It's got some nice little tassels at the end. It's a nice little entrance into the bank. Um, I do wish there was maybe something over here on this end, um, next to these two empty booths. I mean, clearly it's just a dirt ground, you know, which, I don't know, not the cleanest bank I've ever seen. Um, to just have a dirt patch ground, but yeah, I don't know. It's just it just doesn't seem like the cleanest place I do like the windows though. It's it's very it gets good light in here There's a lot of good light coming in. I mean, there's windows all around the the entire building It's almost too many windows now that I'm I'm looking at it. That's That feels a little excessive does it not it feels like a lot of windows But as you can see we have some seating in the back as well. That's kind of nice um, deposit box your poll booth for voting and we can't come in here without going to the basement so let's go down here and I, you know what more potted plants over here three more potted plants feels strange to put them in this room next to the staircase um and when i come down here i immediately feel like i should not be down here it just doesn't doesn't it doesn't have a great vibe to it i do love this artwork it reminds me of like this i don't know why but it reminds me of the steamboat on dk's jungle on mario kart i can't uh, mario kart 64 excuse me I, I i don't know i know that's not what it is but you know what that's what it reminds me of it's also odd that it's not in color maybe it's faded from being down here so long or maybe that was intentional by the artist i'm i'm quite i'm not quite sure i don't want to be down here a long time it is it just feels cold down here. It feels cold and it feels lonely. Um, and you're just, I mean, can you imagine taking a meeting down here and you're you're just shoved next to a bunch of storage space and what appears to be the vault and or a dungeon? So, yeah, I don't know. Not about it. Now, this bank isn't what it used to be in terms of popularity, but look at, I mean, look at the people we've got coming through still to this day. We've got all kinds of people coming in. Everybody looking to use the bank here at uh, Verrock West. Got some people doing some bank standing activities. Somebody who is a level 9 holding an egg who's been there for, I'm going to guess, a couple hours. Still, you know, uh, it's not what it used to be. But it is still a, a pretty popular hub. And I, yeah, I think it deserves some points for that. 
Um, let's just talk to the banker here for a second. Seems very polite. Very polite. I respect that. I appreciate that. Willing to help me with whatever I need. So, very nice there. Let's see if we can go up this ladder. Oh, we can. I actually don't know if I've been up here. And look at this. Two really nice chandeliers that I did not notice before. Both of those, I would say, add a lot. Probably add a lot to the room. It's a very weird contrast to have nice hanging chandeliers above a dirt and rock floor. That's maybe the one thing that's throwing me off still, but I look, I'm not trying to be too picky about this. I think it's a very, very, um, I think it adds a lot. I think it adds a lot to the bank and adds a lot to the room. Um, and we've got some different art. That's the same one as the one we saw downstairs. And we've got a, a little bit of a mountainous region and a region with a river running right through. So looks like we've got matching paintings on the other side of of this this is kind of an odd space up here it's very it's very open and it doesn't you can tell the space doesn't get used a lot um but definitely confirming my idea of these being fake plants these are identical to the ones that we saw downstairs definitely fake so pros uh nice kind of a nice space in terms of the size of the bank um, a lot of options in terms of uh, where you're going to go to use the bank um, good for people watching, pretty decent for people watching. You've got a lot of characters running in and out, um, doing different things. Cons, dirty floor, definitely a dirtier space. Um, the windows were a pro until I realized how many there were, and I'm going to turn that into a con. It almost feels like, I mean, I don't know. It's almost giving me like funhouse vibes, like a, I don't know. There's something about it. It's just, it's, when you notice how many windows are in here, it almost becomes eerie. All in all, not a bad bank to use. I'm going to say that this is a B-. Um, maybe I should do these ratings out of 10. Let's do that out of 10. I, out of 10, I'd say this is a... <sighs> Fuck, it's not going to make sense after I gave it a B-. minus. But I'm going to say this is a 7.1. 7.1 for this for the Varrock West Bank. Alright, the second bank to ever enter the game is the Falador West Bank. We traveled, you know, just a, just a handful of paces down the road to the west of Varrock, and so we've now landed in Falador for the second bank. I strangely like the, the, the town of Falador. Out of all the towns or cities, I guess I should say, it's one of my favorites. I like it because it's so strangely laid out. It doesn't make any sense how it's laid out at all. Um, and that reminds me of many of the places that I've been um, and lived. Yeah, so it's strangely familiar in the way that it was poorly designed and planned out. Now, first thing you'll obviously notice is there is an awesome hanging chest in the entrance to this bank. I really like that. I'm not sure why I like that. It's just, you know, you don't need a sign saying where you're at or the name of the bank. Just put just put a chest out front and everybody will know what you're talking about. All right, I am noticing a lot fewer windows in this place. Looks like there's some behind the counter. Gives gives the the... Bankers, some uh, nice light in, but just a couple of windows here. Very nice, very nicely lit. Now we've got this notice board. It looks like, uh, I'm assuming these are all like thumbtacks of some kind. Um, and we've got three shitty looking pieces of paper here. Um, I've actually never read this. Okay, it talks about your bank pin. So I guess all three of these notes talk about your bank pin. We've also got a table here with some books. Some of the books are open. I don't fully understand what you're reading there. Maybe that's some sort of banker log. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with banker things in that of that nature, but you know, got your poll booth, got your bank deposit box. The space feels, it feels small in here. And I think that is because of the two desks. I do think if you kind of cleared one of those out, it would feel a little bit bigger, but you know, with the space they were given, I feel like they did maximize it. I mean, we've still got one, two, three, four, five bank stalls. The bankers, you know, not, not not the most diverse group back here. Um, we've got four, like I can only assume to be uh, four older women and one older man at the end. And, and very polite as well, per usual. The bankers in Gilnor team seem to be um, very polite. But yeah, this, this bank is very table heavy. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I see six tables total. Not a lot of space for the workers to go back. Maybe there's something upstairs that we're not privy to, but... Yeah, just not a lot of space. This was a bank that was clearly built early on in the game. Not a lot of players around. And now it is 
sorely, sorely undersized for the size of Falador. Now, luckily, they Falador did open another bank, so that should clear up a little bit of the congestion there. But, I mean, right, you know, right now, we're only seeing a couple other players trickle in. It's not clearly the most popular spot, or at least compared to the Varrock West Bank, not there. But still got some nice characters coming in. Maybe people killing Mole and different things like that. Um... Yep, looks like lots of Slayer helmets I'm seeing. You know, I want to get a, I want to get a better feel for this bank, so let's maybe do a quick bank standing activity. Do I have any logs of any kind? Oh, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of Redwood logs, okay. And let's just kind of bank stand and see how it feels if we were to kind of hang out here for a while. Okay. See, I like the angles. You can place your camera at it. It's... There's just something about it, and I think it's just the limited size and, and the hard, rough corners of, of this place. It's it just kind of juts out at random areas, and there, there's so much clutter. I feel a little claustrophobic in this bank. I think they could have done a little bit better with the space. Um, it is nice that they actually have a paved floor, unlike the dirt floor in the, in the West Varrock Bank, but nice little carpet in the back room as well, so... Definitely some things they did correct, but but a lot of of poor planning in my opinion. Yeah, I don't I don't I couldn't see myself being here for a long time. Um, this is more of a grab your stuff and get the fuck out as soon as you you can. The windows as well. I mean, that's not the best view in the entire world, if I'm being honest. Um, a bit like every view I've ever had out of an apartment. And can we see kind of out this window? You know, this is this is a better window for, for kind of people watching. If you're reading this book or something at the desk, looking out the window, that's nice. Otherwise, I would say just a, just a little bit below average of a bank, in my opinion. Which, to be honest, a little disappointing. Major pros of this place. I like the chest out front. I think it's a pretty well lit um, and, and solid... Feeling temperature is what I would imagine in there as well. I like the I like the stained glass windows. I think they're pretty and it's a nice touch. I just think the space and the architecture, the way it was built and structured, I, I'm just not a fan. Too many rigid edges, too many desks, um, too many cramped bankers behind the counter. I can't imagine that that's an incredibly enjoyable experience. This is to to be on your feet for eight hours a day in the back next to all these people with not a lot of space in the back so um i don't know maybe there's a break room upstairs in the ladder but we will never know i'm gonna have to give this bank i, I would say probably a 6.2 i think this is a solid 6.2 okay and now we are well on our way to our next bank the third bank to ever enter the game it actually entered in august of 2001 so just a handful of months after the falador west bank game Excuse me, almost burped really loudly. Welcome to the Edgeville Bank. Yeah, let's really soak this in for a second. Let's just kind of, you know, get a get a lay of the bank. This is a very popular bank, especially for PKers, at least from what I hear. I would have literally no idea, um, first-hand experience in that, but... From what I've seen, a lot of PKers coming through this bank, you'll see a lot of skulls above people's heads, things like that. This is a very popular bank, I think, just for its handiness and its utility. But in terms of the aesthetic and the vibe um, and the general feel of the bank, I actually really like it. First impression, I like it. Now, I like this desk space right here. It almost feels like a just kind of an open air office, but it doesn't crowd the bank. You still have a lot of room between this desk and the, and the front counter. I like that. Um, this oddly feels like a place to pull up a chair and grab a pint. I'm not sure if that is allowed here, but it seems to be, I mean, it, look at this, it's very nice. You got very nice open windows. Maybe these are French doors, I can't really tell. I'm also not quite positive what a French door is, so that might not have made sense. We got our loot chest, uh, looks like a bank notice board. Let's see if we notice anything over here. Speaking of beer. Uh, a crude torch stuck in the ground. Okay, it did not pick up what I was looking for. Ask about our low, low interest rates on the bank notice board. So, I, I don't really understand that. I feel like as a bank, you want high interest rates because you want a nice return on the things that you're putting into the bank. But maybe that's when you're trying to secure a loan. Um, which means, if that's the case, then this would be the first bank that I've seen that would uh, hand out a loan in RuneScape. 
Very interesting. I had no idea about that. I think the number one thing to notice about this bank and, and appreciate about this bank is the three exit and entrances. I mean, that when you when you've got traffic able to come in and out from three different directions, it opens up the space so much. I mean, I feel I, I just feel totally relaxed in here. I I feel like I'm not going to be in anybody's way if I'm standing right here. People coming from the right, from the north, right, from the from the east. It's it's incredibly nice in here. The tile on the floor as well adds a very nice touch and it complements the walls extremely well is what I would say. The room itself does with the gray, you know, while they all match and while it is very complementary to each other, I would say it makes the room feel uh, rather, uh, I guess, cold or maybe a bit outdated. All in all, the Edgeville Bank, I, I like it. Now, a clear negative or con to this place is how did these bankers get back here? Um, and where do they go when they go on break? You know, I think there's some clear human rights violations kind of happening in this bank. I mean... Obviously, you know, I don't know how they determine who gets to what booth. If it's first come, first serve, I'll tell you what. I'm showing up to work a little bit early, and I'm going and grabbing this corner space over here. This is clearly the best space. Yeah, I, I think that this is clearly the best part, but where? how did they get in here? There's no doors. There's no windows. It doesn't appear to... You don't appear to be able to move any of these booths or any of these walls, so... I don't know, you know, I, 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 maybe I'm just ignorant to the situation. I'm not, sh I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, but this is, uh, it's an odd one. And, and I'll be honest, I've, I've got to deduct the, a lot of points for this. This, this may well be a fire code violation as well. Um, which, you know, with these two lit torches or excuse me, uh, yeah, two lit torches in the back room, um, and some other ones scattered around the bank. This is just doesn't, doesn't feel safe, you know, for me, if something were to happen, I mean, I fear for the bankers' lives. So yeah, overall, I enjoy this bank. I like the space. I like the lack of desks, especially coming from Falador. However, this spec here, very concerning to me. I'm going to have to give this bank a 5.8. This was going to be a lot higher of a rating, but this is just, I mean, this is illegal back here. This It's not, not a good situation, what's happening back here. All right, and the last bank that we are reviewing today, as well as the... Fourth bank ever to come into the game and also came into the game five days after the Edgeville Bank in August of 2001. It is, of course, the Draenor Village Bank. Before we even step foot in here, what we'll notice is one entrance, two windows both shuttered, and naturally we have a lot of activity happening outside this bank but yeah i don't i don't i don't feel very um invited into this bank there's no sign telling you anything different let me turn on the roof maybe let's see if we get anything different with this okay you know what i'm really glad i did that i was totally wrong we got a sign up above um the same chest from the falador bank very nice very nice and i mean look at that it looks huge right this looks like a a nice good sized bank however when the roofs get turned off it it suddenly feels very small yeah it, it feels very small and and what felt like a two-story bank i don't see any indication of of there being a place where you can climb up and go to a second story this looks like a one floor building let's go ahead and step inside here a lot smaller than it may appear from the outside. Now, while I did like the little sign above the door when we turn the roofs on, the, the shuttered windows, the the hard, clearly just cement concrete floor, um, the dark the dark walls, it just does not feel very inviting in here. This isn't some place that you're gonna bring a date. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, they also want us to know about their low, low interest rate, so they also offer loans here, I'm guessing, as well. Now, this is the first bank that we have seen a very nice rug. However, this rug, I mean, you, you can kind of tell from the discoloration around the rug that this is not a very well-kept rug. This is something that has been stepped on quite a bit, but maybe has not been cleaned or maintained as, as much as it should have. So definitely points off there. I cannot tell what animal this was also. Um, 
you know, I, I think my book of cliches would tell me that this would be a bear, but is that... I don't know. I've never seen a square tail. Or maybe this is a beaver. I don't know. Um, it's also not as big as maybe a bear would be. Now, I, I think bear could possibly be a bear. There are bears in this area, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Ish, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit north, but... Yeah, this is an odd one. It, it appears to be a little too small for a bear, but a little bit too big for a beaver. So, I don't know. I might need some help in the comments to help clear that one up. It's a little bit, it's a little bit puzzling there for me. We've also got three bank booths. One of these is is shuttered and closed. Maybe they open that up when they when they're a little bit better staffed. We've got somebody in the back apparently working. Uh, maybe reading, maybe balancing the books, whatever it is you bankers, you crazy bankers do. Um, no real dividers or cubicles, so everybody's kind of hanging out. It's a lot more of a, a community, you know, a, 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 a hey, um, welcome to your work family vibe. It's very work family vibes, which it's pretty cringe. I don't really like that. Um, work is work, you know what I mean? Get your check and get the fuck out of there. So, yeah, you know, we've got some, got some, a, a poll booth, of course. Um, not quite sure what these are used for. I guess just kind of, you know, maybe filling out some forms, different things like that. Maybe when you hit the ballot box, you can use those little dividers so nobody sees what you're doing. Um, but the poll booth, very messy. You know, it's got some shit down there. This just isn't, it's not very clean in here. It's, and it's not very well lit in here. And it, and I'm almost feeling stuffy being in here. It feels like it's probably pretty warm for some reason. Uh, maybe it's just the shuttered windows. Uh, maybe it's the one door. You know, maybe there's a nice breeze kind of rolling through this this entryway right here. But I imagine, it, you know, the longer you're standing over here at the pole booth, the more you're starting to sweat. So that's just kind of the vibe that I'm picking up right now. Another thing to note is uh, this man appears to be the only one really connecting with a customer. There's, if I use this bank, Nobody, you know, they're, they're not making eye contact with anybody. I mean, you know, they're very, we got a couple of workers here who are clearly not very engaged with what's happening at work. So points off there. I, you look, I don't want to dwell too long and I, I don't want to, I don't want to be too negative. I feel like I'm being pretty negative about this drainer, the drainer bank, but yeah, I mean, look, being a critic is, it's not an easy job. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta make decisions and calls that people aren't going to agree with or, or like, um, and that you know, it's not very nice. I, I just can't, I can't go above a 4.6 for the Drainer Village Bank. I just can't, I can't do it in good conscience. It would be disrespectful to the good banks out there if I gave this anything higher than a 4.6. Some pros, right? Some pros, the, the outside looks really good. I would say the real estate of where it is in town is very nice as well. It's close to the market and, and close to some of these shops over here, right? A little too close to the jail, if you if you ask me. A little too close to the jail to to have doors that are just wide open and no security around. But yeah, you know, again, I feel like I started listing the pros and I just started listing cons again. It's just not a very good bank. Disengaged employees, a lack of cleanliness, a lack of security. Okay, and that's gonna wrap it up for us today. You know, we got through four banks. I think that's pretty good. Um, quite a few to go. So if you like the series, definitely let me know. Um, and if you don't, then just don't say anything and I won't ever do one of these ever again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I, I, I sincerely appreciate it. And remember, you know, don't just bank stand anywhere, okay? That's that's really the, the moral of today's story. Don't just bank stand anywhere. Find a place you enjoy. Find a place that um, feels inviting and feels feels right to you. But yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, go watch all my other videos. Okay, I appreciate it. Goodbye.